This is an annual condition. I can't take that down. You know, when I mowed yesterday, I became aware of, well, I really, it's time to trim back the sides. It was no big deal. It was bring the hedge clipper in and a few overhanging things here and there, but not a big job. Ten minutes, maybe fifteen minutes way outside. <laughs> I was a little off on my estimate one of these things you get into it and why just do a little bit because in another week you're going to have to come back and do it again for the pieces that aren't quite requiring trimming but after a week and we're going to get rain tomorrow into Thursday growing season isn't over Where did I leave my tools? satisfying. Grasses are light. The uh, hedge trimmer has one fault. Operator error is more like it. Often when you're using it, like I'm using it to cut, it, you're not doing things up eye level one at a time. When you're s s sweeping across at just above ground level, oftentimes you only get 50% of the stalks. And it's, uh, it looks like you're g getting them all, <laughs> and then you go back like you've seen. You miss a lot of them. I miss a lot of them. And I get to go back and clean up like all of this that I tried to reach and pull out or rake out. No, they're all still attached. I don't know how I missed all those. Because I know I went through there with the hedge 
trimmer, but I've got enough down. I'm going to come through with the mower. I I still haven't mowed from about here up to the highway, so I need to come through here anyway. I'll just now that it's low to the ground and not this high and leaning, I can't really mow that. I can try, but it. It doesn't do very well with that. So, I got more I can do tomorrow uh, if it doesn't rain. I watch the 10 day forecast. I usually go out only five days. I don't trust the whole 10 days, but very often, initially they were forecasting half an inch of rain for all day tomorrow. And typically, they move it back little bit by little bit until now it's most of the action is going to come on Thursday, not tomorrow. As long as we get at least a third of an inch of rain, it's mostly been cut off for the last month. You probably couldn't hear that. I'm right at the edge of the bog, the north side of the driveway is the beginning of the main large bog out there. And it's about three feet lower. I can see through the underbrush. But Inslee's off in there somewhere. I heard a crunch of a breaking branch. It sounds like a long way away. It probably is. But she sure hangs around. I love it. Very rarely do I need to call her back anymore. I do. She's been gone a half an hour, 20 minutes, but she's always nearby. You know, yesterday I whistled for her three times. I was working up doing firewood. I hadn't seen her for too long. Whistled, no response. I didn't know what direction she was in. Whistled again, no response. Oh. Got out the remote control for the beeper. I was going to do that, but I was going to give her one more whistle. I was standing up by the big pile of wood. Gave it a, a third whistle. <laughs> I heard a scrabbling noise. And here she came off the front deck. <laughs> the landing on the front steps. <laughs> We've been there all along. I've begun to look up there now because she does go up there occasionally and you know, I forgot that yesterday. Here she came. I'm here, I'm here. I <laughs> imagine her watching me. Yeah, well, what are you doing? I'm right here. And then I'd whistle and get perturbed a little bit. Finally, she on <laughs> the third time. Okay, I'll go show them that I'm here. <laughs> Funny kid. Well, now I think it is time to whistle her back. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to go into this. turning color. I like it because they're easily recognizable this time of year.
You got a parade. I wanted to just go. Yeah, I know. 